Hi, I'm Eric Summerer, and here's what's coming from the Dice Tower this week. Hey, welcome to the Dice Tower News for August 27, 2012. <laughs> it has been crazy lately. With last week, if you haven't seen them, you can go back and watch a whole series of videos that we did on Gen Con 2012, which is America's largest uh, board game convention. And so if you're interested in seeing that, we have lots of videos. Don't forget also that besides this news, you can check out, we have three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a short podcast comes out from Remy Gibson uh, that gives a five minute update on the news. So you can check that out on our website, download and subscribe to that. So between that and between the hurricane that came through, did miss us mostly, so that's not so bad. Uh, but things have been a little hectic here, but there are still things to talk about. Let's start with the board game news. First of all, we have several games that have come on the Kickstarter. I'm the Boss card game. This was unpublished by Sid Saxon, uh, but Eagle Griffin has, uh, when they got all this stuff, they found this, and so they're putting that up on Kickstarter. Mars Needs Mechanics, which later on today, we'll have a preview video for you of that. Are You a Werewolf Deluxe from Looney Labs? Now, I'm kind of curious. Are You a Werewolf Deluxe? This one has like little necklaces that hang around your neck and you can look inside it and see your role. Keeps you from showing your role to other people. But is this deluxe enough to beat out Ultimate Werewolf? We'll have to wait and see. Asmati came out with Consequential on Kickstarter. This is their groundbreaking game in a sense that where you listen to audio stories and different things happen depending on where you are in the story. City of Iron, which is come out from... The same people who made Empires of the Void. That's also on Kickstarter. And you'll see a preview of that this week. And Unexploded Cow, which is a very strange theme uh, from Chia Pass Games. was originally a black and white small card game, but now a deluxe version. So that's all Kickstarter stuff. Then Atlas has announced that they're redoing Once Upon a Time. A third edition of that's coming out. A storytelling game that a lot of people like. Uh, speaking of Gen Con, 41,000 people attended Gen Con. That is a lot of people. I was one of those 41,000, and I certainly felt the other 40,099. Uh, some new expansions for Reverse Charades have been announced. We have a sports expansion, the Girls' Night Out, and a holiday expansion. Now, uh, reverse charades, I think, will be the next apples to apples. You're going to see piles of these. It will be out for a very long time. Different expansions that do the same thing, but, you know, add variety to the basic game. Ares Company has announced that they're going to be reprinting Incognito. A huge announcement from Valley Games at Upfront, which people have been clamoring for this to be uh, released for a long time. This old Avalon Hill card game, and they are going to be reprinting that. Asmodee has started a children's line of games. I have a couple of those to show you this week. And that looks like it's it for the board game. Oh, one more thing. This is breaking news. I think it just happened a couple minutes ago. Uh, Days of Wonder has announced Shadows Over Camelot, the card game. Now, you might think that Shadows Over Camelot, the card game, how can you possibly do that? Well, it's the same, but it's also a little bit different. This is a game that kind of focuses on memory. There's still a traitor in the game, and one of the players is actively trying to get other people to lose. I had a chance to play it with a designer at uh, Gen Con, and I very much enjoyed it. I'm not a huge memory game fan, but this one worked really well, and uh, a fairly condensed gaming time, and still that who is that traitor aspect that I thought was pretty neat. So looking forward to seeing the final production copy of that. I'd like to tell you that there's a lot coming from our podcast network, but I think everyone's hitting the, the summer doldrums. So I only have two to talk about this week. Game Op was number 21 came out in which they talked about Arkham Horror. And they also did a preview of Galaxy Corporate Star Traders. And then our podcast is coming out tomorrow. Uh, and in this podcast, which is number 270, man, we're getting closer to 300. But anyway, in this one, we do an overview of Gen Con. We look back, we talk about the things we liked, we have a lot of uh, small interviews with different people at Gen Con, and then we talk about, Eric talks about his top 10 games from Gen Con, and I talk about the top 10 things that I saw or did at Gen Con. Lots of fun. That's coming very soon towards you. Also, so we'll have some more Dice Tower Network news for you next week. There are tons of games that I'm still going through and sorting out and getting ready from Gen Con, all kinds of games, but many of those we're going to be reviewing this week. 
Ryan is going to be taking a look at several new games, Snake Oil from Out of the Box Publishing, a party game, Morels, a two-player game that came out of nowhere but was very popular at the convention, Eternus, another abstract game, kind of like Connect Four, uh, Milestones, an upcoming game coming out any day now from Stronghold Games, and Ark, which... Well, you'll have to see the review to see what kind of card game ARC is. Patrick and the Hoyers are going to be doing a Ghost Stories iOS review. And then uh, the Vassal Clan. We have a lot that we're going to be going over. Uh, the newest and biggest expansion for Dominion, Dark Ages, Space Checkers, um, Mice and Mystics, the newest game from Plat Hat Games. A lot of fun. Oh, whoops, sorry. Well, maybe it's fun. Marvel Superhero Squad, uh, a two-player game from Upper Deck. Uh, Dungeon Fighter, one of the oddest games you'll ever see. Wait till you see that review. Fifth Gear, Barbecue Party, one of the kids' games from Asmo Day. Sync Up, a party game from the folks who brought us Telestrations. Flower Fall, another very odd game. Uh, Turnstile, well, it's more of a puzzle than a game, but still, we want to take a look at it. Kerfuffle, from the people who brought us Dice Capades. Robin Eggs, also from the people who brought us Dice Capades. Uh, the Guinness Book of World Records, also, okay, we well, get the point. And High Noon Saloon, quick draw time. Well, that's pretty much it for this time, but I'm telling you folks, we are now moving into a new season of the Dice Tower in a sense. You're going to see, hopefully, we're going to get our Showdown podcast out very soon, get that going. Uh, the top 100 games of all time is going to start probably within a month. So there's lots of exciting things to look forward to. Uh, lots of reviews, lots of games. So stick with us. If you're just watching the video and you've never listened to our audio podcast, I highly recommend that you give it a try. Uh, I have a great co-host, Eric Summer, and we talk about all sorts of uh, board games and card games all the time. This has gone on too long as it is, though. So until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. Find all this and more at Dicetower.com. See you soon.